Hello everyone and welcome to the September 2022 review of Polestar 2 efficiency numbers. This is uh, the monthly report where real world uh, data is submitted by Polestar 2 drivers into a database and we create a report monthly which is then shared on the website at polestardriver.com you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter using the handle at Polestar Driver. So if you're not yet uh, subscribed or following those handles, uh, do so and then you'll be uh, automatically notified when the next month's report comes out. So let's take a look at September's numbers. And if we quickly have a look here, we can see that in the database we had 4,468 entries by 139 different contributors and we have now exceeded 200,000 miles in the database or the equivalent of 322,000 kilometers thanks to everyone who submitted data to enable better calculation of the Polestar 2 efficiency numbers. So here is the top contributors in September and in fact anyone who contributed in September you should be able to see your numbers here and if you look for your name then you'll see all the averages in miles or kilometers depending on what you are using in your location. Thanks to everyone on here who's uh, submitted data. The next page shows the top contributors of all time. So since we started uh, collecting data around two years ago and unfortunately we can't fit everyone onto the page but if you're in the top 20 odd then you should see your numbers here. Here we have the most efficient trips over three miles so very short trips, less than three or five miles, uh, can give uh, misleading numbers, so we've excluded those. So these are the most efficient trips over three miles. And we see Monty is coming out at the top of the list there at 5.10 miles per kilowatt hour. This page here shows us the trip ranges for any trips over five miles. And you'll see how many trips uh, there are for you in September and then uh, the lowest range trip that you submitted and the maximum range trip that you submitted and then the last column shows you the average across all your trips. Here's a new page which I've added for uh, all trips above five miles and here we break it down by the model of the Polestar 2 so we have long range dual motor on the left long range single motor in the middle and standard range single motor on the right and basically what this is showing you is uh, the range average that uh, you can expect from your car uh, this is for all data that's been submitted uh, in the system from the start and here you can see for long range dual motor we have 619 trips that is used for the calculation for long range single motor we have 222 trips and for standard range single motor we have 57 trips so here on the chart you'll see the maximum which is the top then quartile 3 median average quartile 1 and the minimum so you can expect if you have a Polestar 2 or you're considering getting a Polestar 2, depending on which model you can get, you will get. You can expect a range, for example, on the long range dual motor between 226 and 264 miles. So these are miles, not kilometers. This page here shows the longest trips that were logged in the system. And looks like wind energy is coming out top there with a trip of 428 miles 
So then we come to our usual consumption um, charts. So this is for the long range dual motor. And you can see we have 3,434 3, trips logged, which covers 169,000 miles. And over here you can see that in September we achieved a number of 28.8 kilowatt hours per 100 miles or 17.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers which is slightly down from the previous month of August uh, but only slightly so for the last three months we've seen numbers within the 28.6 to 29.0 range but as winter approaches in the northern hemisphere, we expect these numbers to go up again. Over time, as you can see, the first winter uh, that the Polestar was available, we had some large numbers in January, February, 40 plus, And then it went down in the summer. And then the next January, so if we compare January 21, it was 41.1. .1 and in January 22 it was 35.9 so obviously as uh, the car got received some updates it became more efficient and uh, they sort of understanding how the car works and how to manage the energy so this is quite a good graph to show you how things have improved over the last two years this is the consumption for the long-range single motor where we have less data but as you can see uh, in September we've had um, average of 25.8 kilowatt hour per 100 miles or 16 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers this is the same data but now we're looking at miles per kilowatt hour instead of kilowatt hour per 100 miles and you can see that in the summer months we've achieved 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour compared to the winter months where it's been down at 2.9 and even lower the year before for all the data in the system you can see on the right hand side here this is the average of 3.29 miles per kilowatt hour or 5.29 kilometers per kilowatt hour here we have the same information for the long range single motor so these these pages are all in the report on the website and we have the same again for the standard range single motor so model comparison is probably an interesting uh, page where you can immediately see how much data we have for each Pulsar 2 model and then compare the numbers for example if we have a look at the long range dual motor here we are averaging 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour across all of the data so all of the months in the system compared to the long range single motor which comes in at 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour and the standard range single motor which comes in at 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour so as I said before, this report is available on the website at polestardriver.com. Uh, it consists of almost 50 pages of data, which you can go and look at. And don't forget, near the end, you can find uh, real-world data for each country that has submitted data. And you can browse through there and then compare your range to range from other people in your in the same country so that's it for uh, the september quick video please take a look at the report which is linked there's a link in the description below and if you have any questions or comments please put them in the comments below and share your experience and efficiency tips and tricks so that others who have a pulse or two can benefit from that.
Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.